Hello everyone and good morning. I'm Brock Hires in the newsroom with a look at some of the headlines that will appear in today's edition of the OMAC Okanagan County Chronicle. The investigation continues into the cause of a house fire that claimed the life of an Orville woman last week. The 77-year-old woman apparently died of smoke inhalation, according to Okanagan County Coroner Dave Rodriguez. Okanagan County Under Sheriff Joe Somday said there did not appear to be any outward indication of criminal activity, but the investigation into the cause of the blaze remains ongoing. An OMAC toddler was killed last Friday after he was apparently struck by a tractor at his grandparents' home north of OMAC. Okanagan County Under Sheriff Joe Somday called the incident, quote, an unfortunate accident. He said no charges are anticipated. The North Cascades Highway has closed for winter, according to State Department of Transportation officials. The decision was made Monday after a weekend-long temporary closure because of avalanche danger. Coincidentally, local resident Anthony Brown and several of his friends climbed up Liberty Bell Mountain to experience some fresh slopes. We'll have a story in next Wednesday's issue about that, but right now, here's a video clip. Now with a look at your weekend forecast, let's send things over to Angelina Namkin in the Weather Center. Thank you, Brock. Good morning and thank you for checking in. Well, we are finally seeing some freezing temperatures. On Friday, we're going to have rain everywhere with a high of 44 in Tenasket and a low of 35, a high in, uh, in OMAC of 44 and a low of 30. Moving into Saturday, we will see rain and snow mix just about everywhere again with a high of 39 in OMAC and a low of 27, a high of 41 in the Mount Howe and a low of 25. Again, freezing temperatures, you know, make sure that you got everything covered. It's that time of year. Moving into Sunday, we're going to have clouds everywhere. We won't see rain with a high of 39 in Tenasket, a low of 26, a high of 36 in Republic and a low of 21. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Stay safe and thank you for checking in. Thanks, Angelie. And now with a look at area sports, here's Al Camp. Thanks, Brock. The fall sports season officially wrapped up last weekend with the Liberty Bell girls soccer team finishing fourth in the state 1B, 2B tournament in Sumner. The Mountain Lions also accepted their state academic award while they were at state. The state trophy goes with a second in 2014, third in 2013, and fourth in 2012. All league football and soccer team winners are in this week's issue. Back to you, Brock. Thanks, Al. This week's issue also includes our annual special section highlighting the best of Okanagan country. For all of these stories and more, see the Wednesday, November 16th edition of the OMAC Okanagan County Chronicle. 
This week we're celebrating our 10th episode, and to mark the occasion, we have 10 Chronicle mugs to give away. All you have to do is share this video right here on Facebook to be entered into the random drawing later this week. Winners will be announced in the comment section below. From all of us at the Chronicle, thanks for watching, and happy Thanksgiving.